How's it going everybody? It's Warmaster here, so welcome back. And today we're gonna have a look on a World Conqueror 4 World War 1 mod. So basically this mod is modded by Canada Ball or Canadian modder as you guys can call. Uh, he has been modding for quite a while, quite uh, about two months or a month already. And I also helped him with some image as well, only just a few uh, part of it. Uh, but mostly he did all by himself. So uh, we're gonna have a look on the first uh, beta on this one. So we're gonna go straight to the con conquest because the dominations, the scenarios, we don't really have anything yet, you can tell. Uh, I also posted a screenshot uh, last night and many people commented that oh we still have a World War 2 general. No, uh, we, we, will, we will create a World War 1 general as well. We only just need time so that we can uh, have time to uh, focus on different things first. But for now we're gonna focus on conquests and units. Later on we will focus on generals. And the final one we're gonna focus on custom campaign. Because it's only Canada Ball himself that has been working on this one also with the help of other modders such as Moray and uh, those people who work in the Discord server as well. Also I also help him with only a few image and stuff with the design of the tank units. So we gonna skip this one. There's nothing to be seen in the uh, AQ scenario. So let's jump into the conquest. So uh, you can tell that we have a new flag. We also have a new flag. We also have Hungary as well. Uh, we don't have supposed to be have Poland, but because of this mod isn't yet fully done, we will have Poland for now. Okay. So uh, let's just get right into it. Let's just go to Berlin, Germany. So we have so many stuff to be shown right now. First of all, we have the new city. You can tell that Berlin have a new city right here, uh, which you guys can see for sure. We have exported that city from uh, European War 6. Yes, you can tell. You can tell that the city has changes, except the bigger city. You can see that Munich. Munich also have a changes of city as well. Uh, we have so many things to be shown. It looks really cool as well. We also have this uh, bunker, which we got from uh, Glory of Generals, which is also good because in World War One, everyone was fought in a trench, right? And we also have bunkers, land fort, coastals, uh, rocket launchers. But I don't think it's a rocket launcher. I think we only have bunker forts and coastal uh, artillery only for rocket launcher. I think it's not a technology that would be uh, available in World War One. Uh, we also have uh, this anti tear same thing at all. Okay, so we have a light infantry. You can see the unit. We also have an assault infantry in which we're gonna change the uh, UI later because it's not fully done and it, it isn't supposed to be look like a World War One version. We also have a motorized, which is most likely to be a uh, Luftwaffe, uh, the Baron. This one is the Red Baron, right? We also have the mechanized infantry, uh, which we're gonna use against. Uh, I think we should use motorized against uh, tanks and armor, and mechanized against cities and forts. And we also have a commando in which we use a machine gun. But I will discuss this with Canada Ball, whether or not we're gonna uh, get a man inside it, maybe uh, this one as well. We also have a armor car. We also have a light train, light tank actually, it's not light train. A light tank uh, in which we're going to uh, kind of uh, make it into a, uh, we change the name, sorry, yeah. We also have a medium tank in which uh, a heavy cavalry. We also have a heavy tank in which is a uh, horse grenadier, uh, or maybe uh, guards and stuff. There are so many more to come. We also have a tank, and for artillery, we haven't yet done it. Maybe we only take field artillery, hovertizer maybe too. But for rocket artillery and also super artillery, we are not on that phase yet. So everything is still in progress. You can tell. Uh, this one have a range where you can a lot, a lot of damage right there. It has a range from far behind, and this light train, sorry, light tank here, it, it also have its own damage too. So uh, this is a paperback which I made from Photoshop for him. Uh, I think the color is too bright. Uh, definitely, we're gonna fix that one later. I also have a discussion with him last night talking about uh, the possibility of changing that one. Uh, I mean, yeah, it looks pretty good though. Very good, very good. We're gonna we're gonna change it later. Uh, many other more stuff as well. This one deal damage on that one too. So light tank. Uh, 
very nice. I love it. We also have a new tank model for uh, Austria Hungary. So yeah, we're gonna have a look at Austria Hungary too. Uh, the fort here, the trench, everything looks pretty nice. We also have Munstein here as well. Very nice. Okay, so we're gonna have a look at uh, other nations such as. Uh, oh wait, I forgot to show uh, Asia. So we have the Republic of China. 19, I think it should be 1914, so after 1914, there's no, uh, yeah, it's already Republic of China, uh, so we're gonna see if uh, he might change some stuff, maybe if there's a warlord, we will also make a warlord version with the Russian Empire, which is still Soviet Union, we haven't yet changed the name, we also have a fort like this, a big fort like this, I love it, I love the way he made it like that, we also have the stars on it to show the indication that it is a uh, Soviets or Russians. We have mechanized. We also have super tank for this one. We also have another version like a Cossack of uh, heavy tank. Sorry, of a Grenadier from Soviet Union from Russia. We still have the artillery here. We're gonna fix it later. We're gonna make sure we do that. Also, we're gonna be we're gonna have a uh, conquest. Also, sorry, no, a campaign. We're gonna have a campaign for that too. So eventually, we're gonna make that soon okay the city you can see the stalingrad thing here it's pretty good and um, yeah i think it's really nice uh china also have another version of it uh japan also good with the forts and stuff also the tank also the submarine we have a new version of submarines uh also have a flag for that one there's so many good things to be shown uh, in here because uh yeah canadian model he's been doing that for a while and uh i think he's trying he's, he, he tries his best though it, it really impressed me as well for hungary we're gonna have a new thing as well yeah it's, it's, it's a bit short right there okay so we also have a motorized we also have a light infantry in which we import from european war 6 commando as well also tank heavy tank medium tank light tank and armor car and a different version of it we yeah definitely we're gonna have some various skins and also various uh, thing to be sh uh, sharing with all of you guys 1950 uh, which is basically not a 1950 it's like the aftermath this one is Germany right Germany in uh, 1917 or 1916 we're gonna add a uh, Russian Revolution soon which I also have discussed it with him he also mentioned about that so definitely uh, Russian Revolution is going to be added with Vladimir Lenin in uh, St. Petersburg. We also have to change the name. Okay, that's St. Petersburg. This one is Volgograd. It's not Stalingrad. Uh, we're also going to add a few parts of this as well. We're going to have a look at the map, the actual map, on whether it's corrected or not. And for 1980s, it's still a thing. Haven't yet done that one. 1943, 19. Yeah. Basically, it's pretty good though. So yeah, that's it for this uh, first look on the World War One uh, mod in World Conquer Four. It's the first phase. Uh, we haven't yet seen anything new. We just need to have a look later on whether it's uh, good or not. So let me try to take out this guy here. Fifty-seven, sixteen, eight. Okay, hundred fifteen. Very nice. Eighteen. Okay, this one is a far range. With a Panzer right there, 96, and we have artillery right here. Still not yet done. Everything is still in progress. Everything is going to be great. Uh, this one has a only one range. It should have like at least two or three ranges. That's pretty good though. Yeah, very nice. I love it. Okay, hope you guys enjoy this. And don't forget to subscribe to Canadian Waters and also Moray. Uh, they have been doing this so well and we have benefit from it. Many people love the game. Uh, also me as well definitely I'm gonna play the campaign also the custom mission when it is up so, okay hope you guys enjoy this leave a like if you do and I will see you guys next time